because in the CCR backtesting, uh, we face the problem of having a very limited sample. And uh, this limited samples arise because uh, our forecasting distribution of our models need to be compared with the realized values. And if the forecasting distribution is very long, for example, at two years, three years, 10 years, longer time horizon, we need to wait a very long time. And the tests, such as the Anderson Darling, need non-overlapping data input. So at the end, for example, for a euro interest rate, we have six, seven observations in our test to say that the model that we use is wrong or uh, correct. So the idea was to adapt the Anderson Darling test uh, waiting more details of the, uh, of the test that say we want to punish the underestimation of volatility of our models and we end up uh, with a better understanding of our models when we have a very limited sample size.